Uh, hello everyone, we're uh, on our lesson number 12 for data in Eng or engineering data analysis. Uh, this is design and analysis for single factor experiments. So these are the topic that we will cover for this uh, lecture, the complete randomized single factor experiment, the random effect models, and the randomized complete block. Okay, so uh, um, uh, PowerPoint na to, based sa 5th edition ng book, but our uh, textbook is the Applied Statistics and Probability for Engineers on the 6th edition. Same author, Montgomery and Ranger. And this is chapter 13 of the textbook. Pareho naman yung chapter. Okay? Uh, I already posted this one sa Canva, so you can ch also check this one sa YouTube. So, just uh, check the title. This is Andel's Under Simple learning pro na uh, account. So, you can check the cost, causation and association, the placebo effect, control group, and the double blind treatment, and the types of experimental design. I, I advise that you uh, watch this video first before you continue with this lesson. Just for another group. Okay, now. Uh, for design engineering experiment, the following uh, steps are usually involved. First one is the conject conjecture, which is the original hypothesis that motivates the experiment. So basically, these are uh, the theory that we want to to verify to experiment. Then we have the experiment, the test performed to investigate the conjecture or our theory or our assumption. Then we do the analysis, which is uh, utilizing statistics to uh, analyze data or to verify our conjecture based on the data that we obtain. Then finally, we have our conclusion which uh, could be uh, rejecting or accepting our hypothesis. Okay? Often, the experiment will lead to a revised conjecture or a new experiment and so forth. So meaning we can uh, revise and do the cycle for the uh, sequence of activity or for the engineering experiment. Okay, so uh, the first topic will be the complete randomized single factor experiment. When you say single factor, we are only observing a single variable, a single variable, or the effect of a single variable. And an example of this is this problem. So a paper manufacturer is uh, making grocery bags and uh, want to improve the tensile strength of their product. So, the product engineers thinks that the hardwood concentration of the pulp is a good uh, material that could increase the uh, tensile strength of the material. And the range of hardwood concentration of practical interest is between 5 to 20 percent. So, we want to vary the hardwood concentration in the pulp in the preparation of grocery bags, okay? And verify if the tensile strength of this concentration are uh, different or they, they, uh, there's an impact in the level of concentration. So, four levels of hardwood concentration is being tested, the 5, the 10, the 15, and the 20 percent respectively. So, they decide to make up six test specimens. So for every concentration, there are five, uh, six, six test specimens at each concentration level using a pilot plant. All 24 specimens, so we have uh, six times four. So that are the total uh, specimens are tested in the tensile test and randomly. Random yung order. And the data are this. So we have the hardwood concentration, Usually, ito tabulate nyo siya. Pwedeng, pwedeng naka, uh, ito kasi naka, ano siya, naka row, pwede ding naka column. So, it's up to you, what, whatever presentation you want to. But, make sure that you have the proper labeling. Okay? For this one, this is, these are the observations. So, in six sample, these are the data. And, we just compute for the total per row or per hardwood concentration and the total, totals, and the average per row and the average of all. Okay, next. 
So in this example, usually we call the level of factors as treatment. So basically, this is treatment 1, treatment 2, treatment 3, treatment 4. So we call that treatment. And each treatment has six observations, which is the replicate. So the, the observation, so the number of observation per uh, row or per treatment is what we call the replication of the so meaning this uh, data for the six has the same concentration okay and usually you prepare the sample as a single preparation okay? and you just divide it into different partitions then the runs are basically at random when you say at random so may mga uh, software na uh, pwede kang bigyan ng randomized uh, experiment so basically uh, pag sinabi nyo randomize, hindi mo itetest ite yung uh, lahat ng nasa 5, ng sabay-sabay. So, basically, it could be the first one ito, tapos ito, ito, ayan, ito yung mga sumunod. So, it's random. So, meaning, you're testing it at any given point. Yun yung when you say random uh, testing or random. Okay, now, based from the data, so I think average, or based from this data, you can construct yung box plot natin. So, ito yung box plot at different hardwood concentration, at ito yung data nila. So, basically, wala tayong uh, outlier na na-identify. And this is the median, and this is the quartile, the second and the third uh, quartile information. Ito yung maximum, ito yung minimum. Maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, maximum, minimum. Okay? Then, we can also plot yung individual normal distribution. So, uh, this one could pertain to 5. This is pertain to 10, uh, 15, and 20. And possible, iba-iba yung average values nyo. So, I think average. So, basically, magkakaiba yung average. And yung variance, hindi lang pinakita dito. Our standard deviation are also different. So, magkakaiba din yung variance. Yeah. Now, uh, based from the figure, we can say that basically, magkaiba yung data nung 5 at saka 20. But, yung data for 10 and 15, magkaiba din siya in terms of the, the, the value of yung quartile, yung interquartile, uh, 2 and 3, yung nasa loob ng box. But, we can say that they are almost the same data. Diba? Parang walang kaibahan yung 5, 10, and 15. And basically, iba din yung 20. But, uh, based from this figure, yun lang yung masasabi natin. But, in actuality, we need to to verify kung kung ito ba talaga ay iba dito kasi may overlap ka. Yung yung may mga overlap. Okay, may mga overlap ka. And basically, these are sample data. Sample data siya. So, we want to, to evaluate ano yung kaibahan niya. And usually, uh, ang kaibahan could be determined by the analysis of variance. So, paano yung analysis of variance? So, for the complete randomized single factor, ang um, kailangan natin ay ma-identify yung treatment, yung observation. So, ito yung typical Table. So, you have a treatment. So, yung A is the row, number of rows. Uh, N is the number of columns. So, how many observations? So, usually, magkakapareho siya ng numbers. Okay? Nang, kung, kung sa treatment man, meron kang sampu, sampu din dapat. So, yan yung usual. But, there's a possibility na hindi pare-pareho yung number of observation. Pwedeng, pwedeng, uh, ito, walo, ito siya, ito ay lima. Pwedeng gano'n. Then you have the totals and the average. So the levels are the treatments. And yung n total is the total number of samples. So basically, this is just n times a. Yan lang yung n total, the total number of samples. Okay, for the analysis of variance, we may describe the observation in table 13-2 uh, by the linear statistical model. So naalala nyo to, dun sa linear model natin, we have your... Uh, mean plus your tau plus the error. 
there, then the model could be written as uh, mean of each value, then the error for each value. So, linearized model lang siya. So, the analysis of variance could be uh, utilized the fixed effect model. So, the treatment effect are usually defined as a deviation from the overall mean. So that the summation of your tau is equal to zero. So ang assumption natin for uh, analysis of variance is that the variance of all the sample are can be uh, state as the same. So pareho siya. And we can evaluate if uh, the variance of each row deviates from the total variance. Okay, yung total variance natin. So... Also, you have your y, i, and y. So, ito yung y, i, sa sum ng, ng uh, column, a uh, row, row. Sum ng row. So, ito yun, yung row. And, ito naman ay yung sum ng total. So, you get the average by per row, and you get the average for the total. So, kung titingnan mo dito, ito per row yung average mo, and this one, yung total average is divided by total number of sample. Okay, so how do we analyze uh, the difference in, in our data? So we usually uh, use the analysis of variance and this is the hypothesis. The first one, which is the null hypothesis, uh, we're stating that there are no variation in the, the variance of your uh, data. So meaning uh, the treatment is significantly uh, not effective or there's no impact of utilizing the different treatment. Well, the alternative is that uh, your tau is not equal to zero for at least one i. So meaning for, for one treatment, there is there is a variation. So meaning there's an impact on of the treatment. So the analysis of variance partition the total variability into two parts. So we have the sum of square identity. So, actually, pareho lang to nung sa linear regression model natin for the analysis of variance ng ANOVA. So, for uh, analysis of variance, so basically the sum of square of identity, you just get the sum of the uh, data minus the mean and you get the square of that data, sum of the square of the data. So for each data, you just get the the difference and get the squared and you get the sum. Okay, so this one is equal to your treatment. So n times the treatment and you have your error. So ito naman yung, yung error squared. Okay, so pareho lang siya. We have the SST equals the SS treatment. So basically, this is the regressor dun sa ating uh, regressor. Dun sa ating linear regression and this is still the error okay then the expected value of treatment is that e of ss treatment is equal to a minus 1 uh, sigma squared plus n uh, summation ng ti tau squared okay and the expected value of errors is this one so a times n minus 1 sigma squared so the ratio of ms treatment is equal to ss treatment over the degrees of freedom, which is A minus 1. It's called the mean square for treatment. And we use the appropriate test statistic, which is FO, which is equal to MS treatment over MSE. Then we will reject your HO if the F value calculated is greater than to your F ng, uh, critical. So F critical is usually you get the alpha, you get the uh, A minus 1, this is are the degrees of freedom for R. Okay? Now, ano yung mga definition ng sum of square? So, sum of square of treatment is this one. So, summation ng uh, Y squared from uh, 1 to A plus I to J. So, lahat lang. Minus your Y squared over N. Ito ay yung total uh, Y. Okay? Yung total Y. While the SS treatment is just for the specific treatment divided by n. So the error sum of square is obtained by this expression. So you just utilize the form. So, paano natin siya gagawin? So, ito yung analysis of variance. 
table natin. So, makikita nyo yan. Yung SS treatment at saka SST, usually nakukompute siya. Gamit itong formula natin. Okay? So, you just utilize that formula. So, may isyan lahat lang minus y over n squared. y squared over n. Well, yung SS treatment, this is for specific uh, row. Okay? Specific row. And uh, this one is for the specific uh, value. Okay, then we have the degrees of freedom. So, A minus 1, this is A times N minus 1, and this is A N minus 1 yung total. Laging minus 1 lang. Okay, then pag ginuha nyo yung sum nito, dapat ito siya. Okay, pag ginuha nyo yung sum. Okay, so, I'll just follow the formula. A minus 1, this is the number of treatment minus 1. While this one is A times N minus 1. So, ito yung number ng... Uh, Tawag dyan, uh, observation. Okay? Times yung treatment minus 1. Then, ito, you just add that. Okay? For the MS treatment, divide lang. Ito, divide by the degrees of freedom. Ito, divide by the degrees of freedom. Ito yan, specifically. For that. And to get the F, you get MS treatment over MSC. So, pareho-pareho lang to nung sa linear regression uh, model natin. Okay? So we'll end here and we will do example on the next video.